Hello fans, welcome to Suzy Farms. Here we focus on agriculture, animal husbandry, aquaculture, and agribusiness, where we bring research to practice. Our products are purely organic, from the farm to the table, so we can eat healthy food. If you are new here, like, comment, subscribe to our channel, and hit on the notification bell. Permit us to serve you with some cola nuts and palm wine, so you can relax while watching. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. In Sub-Saharan Africa, coffee and cocoa plantations are dominated by smallholder farmers who play an important role in national economy. These smallholder farmers are facing problems with low productivity, low quality of product, unused waste, and dependence on external input. So most farmers are increasingly using inorganic fertilizer, pesticides, and insecticides to boost production and control diseases and pests in agroforestry. This has led to an increase in external input cost, health risks, and ecosystem pollution. To address these issues, we shall be looking at a more eco-friendly way of increasing crop production and profit at low cost, zero waste, and minimal health risks through crop livestock integrated farming. For example, raying goats, pigs, and poultry in cocoa, coffee, oil palms, rubber, and fruit tree farms. Come, follow us, let's do it. This practice integrates crops and livestock system. Livestock plays an important role in global food production and in agricultural and royal economies in many developing regions. The Crop Livestock Integrated System is a sustainable, effective, efficient, and environmentally friendly system of crops and livestock that builds explicitly between biomass producing and processing, waste management, water use, energy generation, and soil nutrient conservation. It provides opportunities for maintaining and extending biodiversity, livelihood diversification, provision of alternative income streams, and increased crop yield at low input costs, which makes this farming system more viable and profitable. An integrated farming system consists of a range of resource saving practices that aim to achieve acceptable profits, high and sustained production levels, while minimizing the negative effects of intensive farming and preserving the environment. The crops produce abundant animal feed as folders and crop residues. The trimmed cocoa leaves, fruit leaves, Cassava, beans, maize leaves, and crop residues are used as supplementary feeds for animals to raise body weight gain. The animals graze under the trees or plants and provide manure, which are used as a source of organic fertilizer for the plants and trees. The animals are also sold to provide additional income source of income to the farmers. This system leads to zero waste, as plant waste are used to feed animals and animal waste are used to fertilize the soil. Crop livestock integration can also reduce the cost of controlling wheat. Birds prefer grass and smaller wheat, while the goats and pigs prefer foraging on broader leaves. So the animals and birds also help to reduce weight 
in the farm. Integrated crop livestock farming systems optimize resource utilization through beneficial synergies rather than the maximization of individual elements in the system. Please kindly subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share our videos, and also hit on the notification bell to keep up with updates as we present the many benefits of integrated farming systems. Here, yeah, we shall be presenting the agronomy, social, economic, health, and environmental benefits of these farming practices. It helps to enhance the productive capacity of the land and land utilization, as many crops and animals can be raised on the same land space. It increases soil fertility, as the waste from animals are used to add nutrients to the soil that fertilizes the crops. It also helps to control wheat and pests, as the birds feed on smaller grass, and the animals like pigs, goats, and sheep feed on wheat with broader leaves and forage. This system helps to create jobs in rural areas as the rural community can get involved in agriculture with minimal input costs. It reduces poverty as product yield are maximized to increase profit. It also reduces urbanization as the movement of the rural community is reduced. It enhances livelihoods and food security as there are varieties of different crops and animals to feed the growing population and halt malnutrition. There is reduced health risks from chemicals as insecticide, pesticide, and herbicide with serious health risks are not used. Malnutrition is also halted as animals and birds are used as protein source. Cereals are also used to provide the needed carbohydrate and energy. Fruit and vegetables also provide the necessary vitamins, mineral, and micronutrients needed for proper growth and functioning of the human body. This farming practice leads to product diversification, as different products are produced in the farm. It increases crop yields as the soil are fertile from animal manure application. It also helps to reduce agricultural input costs and livestock costs because free folders are used to feed animals. Livestock productivity is also enhanced and multiple income streams are provided. Farmers sell their chicken, ducks, goats, pigs, sheep, cattle, vegetable, crops, fruits, and other products and make money from different sources. This system strengthens crop resilience. Healthy soil helps plants to be more resistant to drought and pests because the soil organic matter is enriched to retain more moisture and deter pests. It enhances soil microorganism and biological activity adds the addition of soil organic matter helps to feed the soil microbes that in turn feed the plants. The soil structure is also improved and erosion is greatly reduced as water can easily seep into the soil and be retained. In this system, the soil organic matter is increased with animal manure. Manure are plants and animal waste that are used as source of plant nutrients. They release nutrients when they decompose. Manure is an important byproduct of the mixed crop livestock farming system in sub-Saharan Africa and a traditional source of nutrients for farm crops. Manure is a valuable source of nutrient, organic matter, and renewable energy. It contains soil nutrients and organic matter, which is vital in maintaining and improving soil health and soil fertility. 
Hence, the application of manure as a fertilizer is essential in maintaining and improving food security and livelihood within sub-Sahara Africa. Therefore, manure is food security. It remains a low-cost soil fertility investment niche that farmers should exploit. We encourage farmers to include animals and birds into their polyculture farming system to reduce environmental pollution from external chemical inputs, increase yield per unit area, enhance product diversification, food security, livelihood, and better nutrition, alleviate poverty, reduce drought, halt risks, and restore ecosystems. Please kindly share your own opinion about integrated crop livestock farming practices with us so we can learn from each other. Leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel to get more content like this. We call on all farmers to try practicing this type of low input, high heel farming practice to enhance food security, especially within Sub-Sahara Africa. In our next video, we shall detail the different type of nutrient from different animal waste to enable farmers to decide which type and numbers of animals or birds to include into their farmland. Thanks to all our returning subscribers and welcome to all our new subscribers for staying here with us. We will love to see you here again next week. Cheers.